Patriotic Spaniards try to give their cars names, one way or another connected with the geography of their country. So C. Cordoba is no exception in this regard, because Cordoba is one of the provinces of Spain. In the era of globalization of the global automotive industry, twin cars with different surnames began to appear in the world. Immediately after the entry of seat into the VAG Group, Volkswagen Audi Group, which happened in the early 90s, numerous changes were made to the Spanish model range. So, the Ibiza hatchback, known since 1983, belonging to the Class B, survived the reincarnation in 1993. At the same time, a sedan debuted on its basis, which received its own name Cordoba. Notably, the third-generation VW Polo is the same car as the second-generation CD Ibiza. The C Cordoba is the Polo Classic sedan, and the C Cordoba Vario is the Polo variant station wagon. These cars, albeit, except for the Polo itself, were produced at the same factory in the Spanish city of Martorell and most of their components and assemblies are the same. C was also offered as a two-door coupe, while VW had nothing of the kind. The body of the model, in the normal state of the paintwork, resists corrosion well, but if the iron was damaged in an accident and restored at an average service, rust will not take long. However, there is still a typically weak spot in terms of corrosion in the body. These are the edges of the wheel arches, which should be paid close attention to when buying a used copy. There is still one feature of the body, or rather its seals, which manifests itself only in winter. So, almost all owners have noted repeated cases of doors freezing to their seals, the likelihood of which increases with the sharp temperature drop or visiting a car wash. The level of equipment of machines of different configurations is very different. So, in the simplest version, before restyling, the car resembles a Ziggly, because there is nothing in it, but such empty cars are rare. As a rule, Cordoba, average in terms of mincemeat, boasts minimal power accessories, central locking, power steering and an adjustable steering column, and a driver's airbag. The richest specimens are fully equipped, of course, taking into account the class. In post styling cars in the cabin, a liquid crystal display on the center console catches the eye, showing the operating mode of the heating and ventilation system, audio system, current time and outboard temperature. It, like the instrument cluster, is equipped with a spectacular red backlight, emphasizing the sporty spirit. In terms of its dimensions, Cordoba is in the upper limit of the B-Class. The model has a large internal volume and a huge trunk of 500 liters. The rear seat backs in most configurations can be folded in parts, which allows you to carry bulky goods, and the station wagon trunk with the seats folded can accommodate 1250 liters. However, do not forget that the carrying capacity of the car is small, and if you constantly use it to transport goods, the rear suspension will quickly end. Even tall people can comfortably fit in the front seats but only two compact adults or children will feel at ease in the back. The fact that this is always an inexpensive car is evidenced by the mediocre sound insulation of the cabin, both the engine and aerodynamic noise are heard by passengers, moreover, while driving on a wet or dirty road, the substance that flies out from under the wheels drums loudly in the arches and days. A large number of both gasoline engines and diesel engines were installed on the model. In the line of the first, the following units were offered. 1.0L, 50 to 70 horsepower, 1.4L, 60 to 101 horsepower, 1.6L, 75 to 101 horsepower, 1.8L, 90 to 129 horsepower, 2.0L, 115 to 150 horsepower. All of them are four-cylinder high injection, in early copies, single injection, in later ones with modern distributed injection. The gas distribution system used both two valves per cylinder and four. And since 1999, the famous Volkswagen 20-valve low-pressure turbocharged 1.8-liter engine, which produces an impressive 156 horsepower, has been installed on the coupe version since 1999. Diesel engines were installed as follows, 1.7L, 60 horsepower, 1.9L, 64 to 68 horsepower, and 1.9 horsepower with the turbocharger, the power of which, depending on the modification, range from 75 to 110 horsepower. In terms of reliability and resource, these are good units, but they also have a number of weaknesses. Thus, repeated cases of broken toothed timing belts that did not survive to the scheduled replacement, breakdowns of the insulation of high voltage wires, and leakage of the cooling system hoses were recorded. On cars of the first years of production, equipped with turbo diesels and air conditioning, 
the double radiator fan often failed, which led to overheating. In addition, the turbines on these engines rarely crossed the 150,000 mark. When buying a car with the most common if 1.6L, 75 horsepower, gasoline engine, there is one thing to consider regarding the corrosion resistance of the identification number. So, the number of this motor after 4-5 or five years of domestic operation is eaten up by rust very thoroughly, and it is good if the forensic examination confirms the natural process of its disappearance. The vast majority of copies were completed with a 5-speed manual gearbox, a 4-band automatic was also offered, but it is extremely rare. In general, these transmission units are quite reliable, however, on some instances of 1995 to 1996, it was difficult to engage reverse gear, there were cases of breakage of synchronizer clutches, and clutch failures were also noted. Electrical whims. The electrical part is by no means the strongest side of this car, but in fairness it must be avenged that its breakdowns, as a rule, are not very serious. Here is a sample list of them, failed turn signal switches, dead clock and fuel level sensor, inoperative fog lights and central locking failures. However, this very lock is not a purely electrical system, it uses pneumatics, similar to those installed on Audi and large VW models. Chassis, Cordoba, is traditional for an inexpensive front-wheel drive car. Front, McPherson strut, rear, trailing arms with a twisted beam. Due to its simplicity, the suspension is durable and even on our roads does not require a tension up to 50 to 70,000 kilometers. That's just the wheel bearings, especially the rear track, may have to be replaced before this time. The brake system uses front disc, rear drum actuators, its efficiency and reliability are quite worthy. Unfortunately, ABS is rare. However, domestic servicemen noted one bad feature of the front brakes. When replacing the pads, you may encounter a real problem due to the fact that the caliper is fastened with bolts with internal hexagons measuring only 6 mm, which are very easy to break off, especially if they have not been unscrewed for a long time. It is worth noting that the vast majority of Cordoba hit our market about 7 years ago as a result of complex intercompany layouts as a result of which VW dealers got seats with the VW Polo body nameplate, and according to the documents they were called Polo Classic S. By the way, this batch of cars was released in 1995, and their main engine is a 1.6-liter gasoline, 75 horsepower. In general, despite the rare surname, this car does not require large operating costs from its owner, and even if body panels and optics are needed, their price will be quite affordable, however, most likely they will have to be received through the ordering system. Most of the consumables and other frequently requested spare parts are available in large cities, the unification of VAG products affects. As for ergonomics, safety, and driving performance, Cordoba has them at the level of classmates. However, the price of the used copies themselves is noticeably lower, which is due to the non-promoted brand. 